Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Pop Box Presents. I'm Phil Vecchio, and today we have a very, very special episode with us to uh, perform and to talk and to entertain and to enlighten. We have Gillia Taylor. Hello. Hi, Phil. Thank you so much for being here. And hi to Janelle, too. Janelle, as always. <laughs> hello. Okay, I, I like it when she pops her head in. Yeah, Yay! there you go. <laughs> keeping things running there um we have to say a huge thank you also to my brother david who got mm -hmm. our technical things figured out you might notice we started a little late here if you're watching live david and uh sound extraordinary figured it all out because we sure couldn't right, it's, it's amazing he really is good at what he does so thank you david. I, I, I feel like i need his number too because <laughs> it was so extraordinary everything was going wrong on both sides yep and you heard yeah. him. Just, psh, 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 he, he, yeah. yeah, that was incredible. Incredible. So thank you, David, for that. Otherwise, we'd still be trying to figure out why I'm <laughs> echoing and there's no guitar playing. And uh, yeah. well, we're here now, though, and that's what's important. So thank you so much for being here. And we're so excited to get to talk and, and uh, hear some music. We just found, or well, didn't just find out, but you just released, I think yesterday is the official release date, right? Your new album, yeah. Slow Parade. Yes, yay. So show it off here. Here's our copy. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good there. <laughs> it matches all the vibes there. Right? Yeah, the black and white. It's very cool. <laughs> we uh, we also went all in on the deluxe, but I didn't bring the vinyl and the uh, cassette in here, but they're in the other room. So. <laughs> well, no, no. Thank you for doing that. That was super kind. I'll send you a George book. A George book? George MacDonald. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> you have, no, we have, uh, we've met in person before one time. Yep. And I always like to play like, remember when, when we have guests on that we've we met and stuff. Do that we do. We, uh, we came out, I think this is in like 2018. January yep. 2018. And you played a show in Texas and we came out to Texas and got to see you perform there. And it was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, Doug Burr and um, Lee. Bozeman. Yeah. 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 I think, yeah, Wesley. Um, yeah, and I remember meeting you, you guys, you were like, oh, um, you know, you, you basically were acting like you knew who I was, and I was really confused. <laughs> and I was like, no, y'all just came for Doug Burr, right? And you said, no, we, we know, we know your music. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And I was really surprised. <laughs> No, I mean, we were also familiar with the other musicians there, but that was probably yeah. the biggest uh, reason that we came out was because you were coming somewhere closer to us because you're on the East Coast <laughs> and we're on the West, you know. The middle of America. We had to meet right in the middle. That's right. And, uh, oh, man, it was super cool. That Your live show is something that I hope lots of people get to experience because it was, it was phenomenal. It was great. Yeah. Thank you. So um, we... <laughs> You know, we've we've since then we got to connect with you, and you actually um, were able to get us some of your older recordings that we didn't have. Okay. We had some stuff. I don't have okay. a complete collection of everything because there are some things that we were talking about we're earlier talking about before. that are harder to find physically. But we've got you know through Bandcamp and whatnot, we've we've got a pretty complete set. So <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's incredible. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Well. Um, so quick question for you, since you just had this new album out and it did come out on CD and cassette and vinyl, uh, what's your preferred music listening uh, format? What do you, how do you listen to music? I'm usually vinyl because I, music listening for me is just very intentional. I don't like having music on in the background, actually, like mm. ever I radio or anything. I, it's like very, uh, it's like too much stimulation or something. I don't really know. So if I'm going to listen, I'm going to pull out the vinyl probably. Okay. That makes sense because you get to engage with it more personally. I like that. Yeah. Well, I have a question for you then. Okay. Because uh, this is just a, this is a silly thing. But I like to keep uh, my CDs in particular in alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping you can help me solve a bit of a quandary that I've had <laughs> over the years here. So the first thing of yours that I was aware of is uh, was the Golden Plains. Uh -huh. Kind of hard to see. And this is under the name Just Gilia. Uh-huh. So that goes in my G section, right? 
<laughs> alphabetize under G. I see where you're going. Everything is great there. So then, like later on, we get stuff under, you know, the Gillia Taylor name. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. Well, I already had it under G, and I don't like to change it once I've done it, but it's fine. <laughs> Gillia is still there, so G. Then we had Gillia and the Ghost Train. Uh huh. More like a band with you, but still, that goes under G. But then we have some stuff that uh, really kind of throws me off here. Let's see, I'm going through my piles. Then we got Chris and Gillia. Oh. Now, this is tricky because Chris, your husband. Yep. So it should go under C technically, but then I've already got all your other stuff there under G. So I don't want to put this under C because then I'm not going to like find it when I'm going to your other stuff. Okay, I put that under G and then I get Chris's album and it's Chris Taylor and that totally messes me up. Yep. No, this is your, it's a, you're in a pickle. Uh, yes. Help, help me. What do I do? <laughs> this is your show. <laughs> I can't solve all your problems, Phil. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Um, you know, I don't know what I would do. I think I would stick with G. I yeah. just got to say. Yeah, because, yeah. Well. That Chris Elliott record, you got to hold that up for the people again. Um, my uncle, uh, very, uh, uh, he's a, he, or he's, he's passed away now. Funny, witty little man. He, he saw that and he goes, um, Gilia, I just like, can't believe you, you did the South Park thing, you know, from the, the Christian music episode. <laughs> Down on the beach there. <laughs> well, you know, you know, when they, they were like, we, we all have to look a different direction. Right. That's phenomenal. Exactly. And, and he told me that before the record was actually out to anybody else. And I seriously was like, should I redo this whole thing? <laughs> that is awesome. I, see it, I just imagine us as, as a South Park character. <laughs> <laughs> I will never look at the artwork the same way again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's phenomenal. All right. Well, thank you for at least hearing my... My thing, my solution has been it's all under G except to have Chris's album under T because I couldn't stretch the <laughs> definition that far. So he's under T, the rest of it's under G, and I just remember that when I'm looking for it. Yeah, I. You know what? In the beginning, I was just Gilia, so yeah. that's how I started. That's why it's under G still. That works for me. That's good. And so that's, I shall return. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just a little peek into my mind. <laughs> These are the things that keep me up at night, you know. So uh, while uh, I'm thinking about it, as Janelle chimes in, if we have some folks that are listening live or watching live, um, please feel free to jump in the comment section on Facebook here. We do already have some, some comments, comments, questions. questions. Are we ready to field the first comments and questions, Gilly? Sure, yeah. All yeah, right, yeah, let's yeah. hear what people have to say. All right, so... I always like to know where people are watching from. We've got our Big Bear base, of course. Good. Um, but we've got people watching from Phoenix and Tampa and Niceville, which is in Florida. Oh, that sounds like a nice place. Um, yeah. Um, oh, it is okay. <laughs> so, um, and Gilia, is, you're in Florida, right? Yep. What part of Florida are you in? Uh, Destin, it's up on the beach, uh, on the, the panhandle up in between okay. Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. Very nice. All right. So, um, but then, oh, and somebody just chimed in. They are watching from, uh, Hattiesburg. Is that in My Florida? Sister. That's Emma. Hi, Emma. No. Yeah, Emma <laughs> from Hattiesburg. Okay. But I do have questions for you. Um, all the CDs you were just showing are these available on iTunes, which for those of you that know don't know, that's Apple Music. Yeah, now. <laughs> okay. Those are all there. They are. They yes. are. But they're not all on uh, Bandcamp anymore. A lot of the stuff that was on Bandcamp got pulled. Um, it did. I. It's still there on my side, so I can make it public again. Well, I, and if you purchase it, like I purchased them before it got taken down, so I still have access to it. But if someone's going there fresh, it's not there. About that. Interesting. Yeah, actually, I just get kind of embarrassed about Songs Late at Night Volume 1. Oh, and no. I, it, it's silly. It's You know what, Phil? This is what keeps me up at night, okay? <laughs> uh, 
I just get embarrassed sometimes. I'm just gonna, it's like I, I can run over to the computer in the middle of the night and just be like, I've just got to take it down. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, well, that's why. <laughs> all right. Well, from from a, a fan perspective, we appreciate it. And it should be available for more people if you feel Okay, I'm going to find you. Okay, I'm going to put it up right yes. after this. Yes. All right. Of course. Well. <laughs> You're welcome, everyone out there. Yes. <laughs> so Garrett wants to know, how did you connect with Velvet Blue Music? Ooh, good question. Ooh, yes. Um, I, let's see, I, I went to Cornerstone in 98, 99, I believe. And um, I must have had some type of demo CD or something. I don't, all that all kind of is a blur now because it was so long ago. <laughs> um, but Jeff was there and he had a Velvet Blue music table, I believe. He had merch, like lots of merch. And um, of course, and I've talked to many people since then, and we all agree that we just are Jeff stalkers, Jeff Cloud stalkers. <laughs> like, we're all really creepy. And um, uh, so, yeah, I, I, I'm sure I bought something from his table in order to give him my demo. <laughs> <laughs> and 2006, Six ish rolls around. I put out the Golden Plains. Um, Chris recorded that at, at our house. That was before we had any kids. And uh, let's see. I, I Jeff must have emailed me. Hey, I really love the song White Florida Sun. And I was like, cool. And then ten years later, <laughs> okay, I had finished Songs Late at Night Volume Two. And I said, you know, I really don't love putting out these records that just kind of disappear into the void. I'm going to email Jeff and really just like put myself out there and basically beg. <laughs> please, Jeff, please listen to this music. Please partner with me. I would love nothing more. And uh, I don't even remember what I said in that email, but it worked. Or maybe the music, you know, I, I think he, you know, obviously liked that music too. That was like a little bit of a different um, vibe. So, yeah. So if you stick around for a lifetime and just keep <laughs> stopping that man. That's how to make it happen. Yeah. But you know, you should probably like my advice and you know, this is just from my personal experience with Jeff, give him about 10 years. Yeah, yeah, you don't That's wanna it. rush him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's probably really I gave myself 10 years to kind of grow into something that was like Velvet Blue Music approved. <laughs> well, you know, I remember, I mean, the reason that I first saw the Golden Plains was he used to have them on as like distro. Oh, he did? Oh, yeah, wow. like way back in, I mean, whenever, it, I think it was when it first came out. And he oh. wrote like very nice things about it on there. Something, mm -hmm. I don't know, otherworldly. I can't remember the words that he used. And that was where you were first on my radar was from that being on his site. Yeah, me yeah, memory unlocked. Wow, I forgot about that. So, yeah. yeah. He's, he's been on your team the whole time, right? Yes. <laughs> Except for when I was a teenager stalking him. I don't think he oh, liked yeah, it. Okay, maybe not. And Wendy also was probably like, what's this girl doing? <laughs> <laughs> you said that was in 98 that you went? I, I, I went in 98, 99. My assumption is I probably gave him a demo in 99. Okay. Well, because I the one time I ever went to Cornerstone was 98. So oh. That's why. Yeah. We, well, uh, uh, we were there together. You did you play there or you were just were there? Oh. As, okay. My friends would play. Um, I had some several of the local bands from my local scene play, but yeah, I, I didn't play. Well, I mean, I did, of course, because I'm that girl with the guitar, like walking around like, hi, you want to hear my song? <laughs> well i uh i was there with a band that you probably didn't see with these spivvies did you happen to catch their set yeah you know what i don't know if i did but i remember that oh, okay well very cool he was a traveling i was the sound, sound guy, guy at the time for them and later got to join the band but at the time i was doing sound there so it's pretty cool that's really cool i love that yeah that is like a really like did you take a shower were you there the whole time? Oh, yes, but we stayed. I was like, yeah, today? Yeah, I did. I did that. Uh, no, we, we stayed at like a hotel and rode like a shuttle in. <laughs> well, mo it was like a Motel 6 or something. It wasn't like, you know. Really I, I never took a shower. Yeah, it was. 
It's a stinky place. Oh, music the little porta potty <laughs> things, that area they had out there, that was uh-uh. treacherous. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. I got another question. This will make you blush. Bill says, Why are you so amazing? Is it nature or nurture? <laughs> oh, and, and you know, the answer is right there in his question. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who he is? Um, well, I have parents that watch my show and always chime in and support all the time. So I'm going to just go out on a limb and guess. Yep. That's, that's a dad comment if ever I've heard one. <laughs> Probably both nature and nurture, dad. <laughs> Thanks for all the recessive genes. <laughs> that's good. We love it when parents are supportive. Like that's, yeah. that's super important. If you can't yeah. get your own parents to support your stuff then why would anyone else right right oh yeah 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 yeah. and they they are they are truly your good. parents are here yeah my parents they have chimed in there yeah yep. they're <laughs> they're the big bear crew up there <laughs> awesome hi, parents they all say right. hi all right well that's good yes for the moment okay for the moment well so back to the new album how like how has the release been like it's been out for officially for a day band oh. camp for a couple of days and Mm-hmm. Jeff Cloud sends out early stuff sometimes. How's it? Oh yeah, I love, I love that he does that. Um, yeah, it was, it's been cool. I mean, I uh, I just spent yesterday just kind of stress cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I was just in the kitchen cooking. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's how I celebrated. Have you gotten good feedback? I mean, from others oh. besides us? Yes, yes, I really have. I That's have. Good. Yeah, lot lots of people have reached out, and you know, you, you don't hear from people in a while, or, or like musician friends that you don't hear from in a while, and they pop back in and say something nice. It's like, oh, thank you, because honestly, yeah, I don't like I don't like feeling like it goes out into the void and nothing. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's been really cool, and, and obviously Jeff's been super supportive, and yeah, it's been good. That's awesome. Yeah, he is. I. I promised him that we would give him many accolades. Velvet Blue Music is fantastic, and we've, you know, I've been a you fan since day a one. Lot of music. So, there. yeah, absolutely. Um, your your dad chimed in again, Gilia. He said, "See, I get credit either way." <laughs> That's so true. That's true. Yep. And your mom, Marilyn, said, "Yay for parents." <laughs> They're yep. so cute. They are. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> well, my dad is a musician, a multi-instrumentalist, singer-songwriter, preacher for my entire life, nearly. Um, teacher. <laughs> yes. Busy man. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, he's... he. We, we didn't have TV or anything. It was like a, uh, you know, I was allowed to listen to Christian music or classical music, and we didn't have TV... We did have um, a TV set where my grandmas would record like old movies. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I would watch the same old movies with the same commercials <laughs> over and over and over. So I can still sing commercials from back then, even though I didn't watch TV. <laughs> but you see it in the living room, and dad would like, he put the songs, he's put over half the songs to music. So we would just sit there and sing. And of course, like me, I'm like, I mean, that was like, just the best. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, very good experience growing up. Kids these days don't even know what it was like to not have just instant access to anything they want to watch. Right. Except our kids. Yeah, our kids. I mean, they. Get it all. We have streaming stuff, but they like our kids still like listen to vinyl and CDs, and we have VHS tapes and stuff. You know, we're training them up well. You know. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, someone needs to know how to operate that stuff. Yeah. That's right. In fact, say it again, sorry. The kids are going to be like your brother. That's right. <laughs> I, exactly. Yes. We, they have helped us with technical things more often than I care to admit as well. Yes. You guys come help us fix this. What are we doing wrong? Um, speaking of our kids, though, uh, just another. So early on, you know, like I said, I heard about your music uh, from Jeff Cloud. And at some point he had uh, songs for Late at Night Volume 2 up for sale. That's where I got. Yeah. my copy and so i have a cassette tape of it as well here i did bring a couple cassettes out and just a fun quick little story with that my the room that we're recording in right now we call it the playroom 
and it's like a little like a covered patio that was enclosed before we moved in here and so we've always had you know puzzles and games and books and toys and stuff out here and so i would come out here with the kids when they're real little and i had a cassette deck out here and we would just put on tapes and listen to tapes while we did puzzles or played games or whatever and your tape was one that was on frequent play like always my daughter loved it because it's pink but also <laughs> just because the music is wonderful and so we have just like the fondest memories of listening to that album over and over and over again out here with them and them scooting along on their little toys or putting puzzles together and stuff so Oh, that's so good to hear. That's awesome. When I hear that album, that's like immediately what yeah. I'm brought back to. Just because that's where we listen to. It, so. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. You just gave me an idea. I need to put Sonic Fleet Night Volume 1 on a tape because that's what that thing belongs on. Yes. 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 Sure. This needs to happen. Yes, yeah. please. And actually, my only files of Sonic Fleet Night Volume 1 are on Bandcamp. Isn't that embarrassing? Like, I don't even know where the files are. Well, you can download them back from there. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Van Camp. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. Well, I, I suppose one of the main things we're here for is to hear some music. music. And we should probably oh. start getting to that. Yeah. That was our first trial earlier. <laughs> we solved uh, it again, thanks to David. That was so cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What what do you what do you want to hear? Well, I think um, let's hear. Is everything okay from the technical um, standpoint? Speaking of living without things, we're living without comments right now, so we're very excited, but we can't say it. <laughs> what happened? Their comments. They're not able to comment. Oh, okay. Reason. Okay. The kids are chiming in. <laughs> they always keep track of, like, the technical things in the other room. In case something's not going well, they'll come and tell us. So <laughs> their comments aren't working. We'll survive with that one. So, sorry. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, well, I kind of want to hear. <laughs> well, she said they're I'll, enjoying I'll it, go, right? I'll go okay. help them in a little bit. Okay, okay. Well, anyway, um, let's, uh, shall we do um, some stuff from the new album? Is that what you're starting with? Yeah, wh whatever you want. I, I know that you, you guys, I asked you what you want to hear. You mentioned Dream Explorer and Way Out. Yes. Want to hear one of those? Yes, let's do that. Your your choice. Those are uh, awesome options. I'm going to uh, pull my Zoom out and we're going to just be able to see Gilia here. And I'm going to turn it over to you. I was hoping for like a Phil reaction video. Yeah, it's not as fun to just watch me go, you know, so I'm gonna, I'll drop out here. All right, and I'm still good on this guitar, right, Phil? Yes, it sounds so much better than our, our trials earlier, so. Uh, today I learned original sound for musicians on. Yeah. On Zoom. <laughs> now we know. All right, we're ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, Gillia Taylor. Am I out in the dark again? Face the weak heart weeping. Are the stars falling down again to bring me hope? Open eyes in the moonlight, walking in it, but oh. Quiet flash in midnight to bring me, to bring me, to bring me home. Am I lost in your eyes again? Trying to tell you where I've been. If I could write, you could read it then. You would know. Open eyes in the moonlight Walking in it for oh so slow A quiet flash in midnight To bring me, to bring me, to bring me home Am I out in the sweetness Tears streaming heart seeing is the grass rising up as if to catch me so open eyes in midnight reaching for you but oh so slow you come meet me 
with a flashlight to bring me, to bring me home. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I love it. I love it. That was the first single uh, yep. off the album. And so that's definitely the one that we've gotten the most plays in our house thus far because that was been out for a while but uh, yep i love it so much well that's how i wrote it just you know sitting on the couch one night um but you know on the record uh gideon klein and gabe klein um are uh brothers and producers and multi-instrumentalists and just i call them the magnificent music men <laughs> <laughs> so thankful that they uh were willing to work with me and so Gideon just, he wrote, I, I didn't write, I don't know if a single song in this record has a bridge huh. because I just played the, you know, played the chords again for the verse and let Gideon write these, I obviously didn't let him, I was like begging him, like, please put these strings all over it. And he did. So every bridge is strings, I believe. Wow. Yeah. And I love writing bridges, but yeah. String Bridges. I love it. it. It, The whole album, for those, I mean, who have not heard it yet, if you haven't gotten it, do yourself a favor. Velvet Blue Music, Bandcamp, wherever it is that you get it from, buy a copy. It's phenomenal. Thank you. Um, now, I don't know, like, I don't want to uh, make things too heavy or anything, but there is sort of a, a, I don't know, is there a story behind the album? Is there anything you want to share about what's behind it or... Is that left up to the listener and you don't want to? I love leaving it up to the listener, That's but I will, I, will, I will say, though, I was in a um, a really dark time writing these songs. And I knew I was, and I, I didn't want to talk about it to anybody. And I don't think I really did, although I think uh, my husband, Chris, knew um, and could see it. Um, but... Uh, and actually, now that I think about it, Wild Waves and, and Shadow Sleeping from Leem were written at the beginning of this writing period. I go like in seasons of writing. And so um, I think those songs started it off and then I just, <laughs> <laughs> I like kept going and kept getting more personal and a little bit dark sometimes, but I, like these are all just motivational speeches to myself. I'm just giving myself pep talks for an entire record. So it's it's a concept record <laughs> um, of pep talks. <laughs> well, it is. It's I, You can definitely feel that there's something painful behind it, but it's ultimately very uplifting. Um. I mean, thank you, because that's exactly what I wanted. And I kept going back and forth like, does it sound hopeful? I think it sounds hopeful. Hopefully it sounds hopeful. <laughs> want it to so thank you it does that's how i have read it anyway so good awesome well uh should we do another one sure let's see here i've got um now i know you love going home i don't know if you want to go back to songs for late at night volume two yes yes i i definitely I want that yes, I, we do <laughs> we're in the playroom it'll be hearing it performed in yes. the actual playroom Ooh. That's good. is this what we call a meta moment it, it is for me anyway in a very personal way <laughs> oh, i like that okay let's see here these um <laughs> i dressed up for y'all but i've actually i have played live with these sleeves um already i'm, I'm getting used to just like kind of like court gestures sweeping them out of the way. <laughs> they're a little puffy there puff sleeves <laughs> yeah it's nice <laughs> i mean <laughs> yeah these are the ultimate puffs <laughs> Okay, uh, going home?
like on the album too this is one of the things that we were so blown away when we saw you play live in texas like no tricks necessary have... it's just it's you're so it's like one-to-one -one. it's beautiful <laughs> that's yeah i mean i don't know well it's appreciated just just know that's i know i know it's hard but our yo. kids our kids figured out how to make comments oh good okay do they have a question they said brings us back to the playroom oh <laughs> Aww. literally yeah so, oh my that's cute that's awesome well so, they have questions for later but i figured we okay get through the songs yes we'll do a few more yes. yeah unless there's something specific to that song yeah um we're gonna so we're gonna do one more live one and we have a a video that we've pre-recorded here that you've pre-done um, do you have a preference? Do you want to do the live one next or do you want to do a video? What are we thinking? Um, uh, whatever you want. The, 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 uh, way out is the, That's I don't the know. Maybe do, maybe do, maybe do the video. Do video. Okay, good. All right. So we have uh, another song from songs from late at night volume two that, uh, that you pre-recorded and there's. A great story behind it. This is part of why I think this is Janelle's like favorite, right? Yes. Because you told a really fun story about it um, when you played Shall it live. I? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For a second, I was like, "Did I make something up?" I was just, <laughs> I, I was moving my camera, so. so oh, okay, you can see that. That's where I was earlier, earlier this afternoon. Um, John of the Four Track Heart. So yeah, back to my dad. Sorry, mom. I I, I want to talk about you, but it's not happening tonight. Um, <laughs> My dad would take me to the music store um, on Saturdays, and uh, there was a dude, uh, one of his friends, 
Uh, he was like the king of the keyboard section. <laughs> like knew everything about all of them. Of course, I'm just sitting there doodling. I'm not buying anything ever, but he would give my dad these cassette tapes of this really, really cool, like ambient, like electronic, weird, like sci-fi music. And we would actually, we made music videos at home. <laughs> yeah. Like my dad would like write these really complicated storylines and me and my <laughs> little sisters, we would all just like do whatever to John's uh, music. So many years later, of course, you know, I always, I always, I, would, I love John. He's curly red hair, just a really sweet dude. I, I remember sitting at dinner and like, I'd look up at him and be like, I just really like this guy. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, yeah, I just thought I'm going to write a song about John. <laughs> and, it, right. and, and the thing that I really love about it is for that record, Songs for Late Night Volume 2, uh, my producer, Jeremy Griffith, um, I was like, Jeremy, how do I, what am I going to do when I have to play these songs live? You know, because he was producing and doing some extra things. And he goes, why don't you get a looper and try to learn how to play it? And I was like, I'm not going to be able to do that, but I am going to try. I just was like, had no hope. And then it ended up being one of my very like favorite things to do is like my little tiny keyboard, my boss looper right here. So it, per it matches perfectly with the, the king of the keyboards, John Burns. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and you were doing that. It was just a one person show up there and with all the looping station, it just, it's Yay. awesome. And so I'm glad that you got to pre-record it so that we could yes. see the looping station in action. And, yeah. Uh, awesome. All right. Well, let's do it. Let's go yeah. to John of the four track heart. Here we go. Oh.
Oh, that was awesome. Yes. No, Phil, I, I could see your face. Uh, you know, I, I, I couldn't hear myself. I could see you. And then I just was like, as the song was going on, um, I was like, I'm seriously regretting. I did not fully watch it after I said <laughs> I like skimmed through because I knew I felt good playing it, but I was I didn't really watch it. No, it was it was perfect. It was great. Perfect all the way through. I did watch it first, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like to know what I'm gonna be playing for, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. just in case. Nothing around here is responsible. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I saw like a couple was there a comment specifically? There's more questions that will pertain to the end. Okay. So it's not like about not for that specific song, song. Okay. But awesome. overall, so we'll do them in a in a sec. Okay. Well, do you feel like playing one more song for us? Way out. Yes. Way out. I can do. Um. I don't even know if I figured out what this one's about, and it doesn't really matter because it's whatever <laughs> y'all want it to be about. But I will tell you that when I was in Scotland several years ago, um, the exit signs. They didn't say exit for the most part. They said way out. <laughs> and I was like, that is the most polite way of directing people to the exit. Way out. <laughs> like, I just always said it in my head, you know, and then I'd go, I'm like, well, that's how to get out of here. And so, uh, yeah, so that's that's where the title comes from. At that's least. awesome. <laughs> okay, I got to think where I am here. Though it's light outside, I pretend I am a spy And I crawl under covers, crawl under covers I know that I'm not fooling you, you're pretending
Fantastic. Thank okay. you so much. Yeah. Of course. But thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, I'm super honored that you said that you would come and do it. This has been fantastic. We ha do have a couple more questions yes, here. Before we go. A couple okay. people that have written in the comments before we, we end it. What do we got there, Janelle? Well, our kids said you have an amazing voice. And then Carol says lyrics are brilliant and should be in a book of poetry as well. Oh, I like that. So, and then we do have a couple questions. Um, what is your favorite album you've released? Uh, I I, I really love Slow Parade. You got to say the new one. That's the only yeah one, right. <laughs> But I, I really do. I really do love it, though. I, I think it's my favorite. It is phenomenal. Perfect. We've listened to it quite a few times, and yes, I can already. I can concur. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Garrett asked, who are some of the artists that most influenced you when you were younger? And mm -hmm. who do you most enjoy listening to these days? Ooh, so like that. question. <laughs> All right, yeah. As a kid, like I told you, I grew up with Christian uh, classical music. And uh, uh, obviously, like Amy Grant and Michael W. Smith, right? Right. And right. I, uh, my first taste of the Innocence Mission, I didn't know it at the time, was this, the song Shadows from Amy Grant's Lead Me On. Mm -hmm. huh. And then, of course, I got into the Innocence Mission, uh, mid teens, uh, Over the Rhine, uh, Sunny Day Real Estate, like all that. Uh, you know, there was lots of, of really good, obviously, rock and emo music. Um, but Sunny Day, then Jeremy Enoch, of course, and Sam Phillips. And those, uh, The Innocence Mission, Jeremy Enoch, and Sam Phillips are probably the artists that I've, I uh, just, I'll listen to everything and pay attention to anything they do or say. Um, and then uh, the way I listen to music is really, um, I, I don't know, I'm just, other people have to do this. I like get so obsessed that I'll listen. I can listen to one record and no other record for four months straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's Janelle. That's yeah. me. Oh, good. I'm, I, maybe it's a girl thing. I'm glad to hear that. So, <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Before Songs for Late at Night, Volume 2, when I was writing that one, I listened to Jeremy Enoch's OK Bear, like I said, for four months straight. Um, before the lean stuff, I was listening to a lot of Radiohead, um, actually, like, yeah, I guess it was like a radio head. Oh, a, a moon shaped pool. Um, after that, I got really big into Copeland's blushing. Mm. Um, and I'm trying to think. Yeah. That's a pretty, that's a pretty good list. That's pretty solid. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't listen to a lot of music. Um, like I said, I just, I get like kind of overwhelmed by it. Yeah. But one over and over again. That's like Janelle. Whenever yeah, I climb in her like, car, I'm like, "Oh, you still have the same the music out every five seconds." I just constantly have like a radio station playlist in my mind. So I like, okay, this album, and then this is the next one that follows <laughs> from that. And let's think. Oh, you know what that makes me think of? I like to. I jump around a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know who I forgot in that lineup was Doug. Um, Doug Burr. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and actually he was coming to my mind a lot during the making of Slow Parade because even though I didn't have anything really to do with the music part because that was Gabe and Gideon, and um, uh, uh, Doug Burr would come to my mind, and I'm trying to think there's one song. Uh, oh, um, You Have Been Here Too. Mm. When I was writing that one, and I remember when I was recording the vocals, I was thinking, um, I was thinking, I'm just going to, I want really want to make Doug Burr proud. <laughs> Well, I think he probably is. I, I think I speak for Doug Burr when I say <laughs> excellent. <laughs> I, without permission, of course. <laughs> he 
He's he's pretty chill. He's he probably like, yeah, looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Any other? Um, um, yes. I see one couple of things Audrey here. Audrey said, our daughter said she listens to the same thing over and over again, too. That's true. So, That's true thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then Gordon asked, um, any future Leem music? Oh, yeah. That, um, ever since I, I've, I've chatted with Gordon, he said, I'm, I'm going to send him a George book, too, by the way. Um, he told me he's, um, some people have, have called him Gorgon. And for some, now when I see his name online, I'm just like, Gorgon. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, what, did, what did he ask, Leem? Is there any more Leem? Yeah, more stuff. I still but, write for Leem. Um, you're not and, so secret side project? Yes. <laughs> it was kind of successfully secret for a minute, though, right? I mean, here's the thing. Yeah, I when I first it. heard it, we were, I played it with Janelle, and I'm like, oh, it's Gilead. <laughs> He did. I can, I can vouch for that. Yeah. Okay. So it was obvious to you. Yeah. Well, I'm just, just vocally. I mean, not like I'm not saying the music. I just mean as soon as you start singing, I'm like, oh, this is Gilead. Okay. I won't tell I anyone. Know. I'll keep it secret. You know. But <laughs> I just really wanted to not be myself for a minute there. <laughs> um, oh yeah. So Leem, I, I still write for Leem. It really has to be the, the you know, the, the kid on a quest, the girl on a quest in Leem's case. So it, um, I, I, I wouldn't want to do it unless I went back and, and it was a full length and, you know, I was fine with the chapters, but I really just kind of like, would like it to be like its own project. If I do it again, I, I do still write for Leem. Okay. I just don't know what's going to happen with it. That's good to hear. Are there so other, I know this way and made it that was what made it so difficult just just in case anyone has a question mark like why they um that does make it difficult yeah. <laughs> because we we managed to record and do all that in the same well in this space that i'm in right now um for the original 10 songs so when are there additional i know you just i mean literally just yesterday released an album but are you already working on the next thing or do you like think that far ahead no or because it, when I release something, this is like, that's it. I don't even have, like, you've run me dry <laughs> world. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't even have a thought of doing another thing. Okay. Uh, at this point. It's early yet. I will allow it, you know. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I do, I know, um, I do have a single or two that might, uh, Jeff might put somewhere at some point, so. Ooh, okay, Ooh. okay. Maybe a small sounds press coming up, something like that. I love that zine and sampler so much. Super cool. I'm so glad he's doing that. That brings me back also, just going to shows and finding little zines that you could get from people. Oh, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, any any other comments? No. You got a couple. I can tell my mom, because my mom was the one. I know that was my mom that said, I need a book of poetry. <laughs> because she is an artist too she's a painter so when i do that book of poetry mom you'll have to do the illustrations Ooh. Perfect. all right so i think we've gotten you to commit to a book of poetry with illustrations by your mom a cassette of songs from late at night volume one and <laughs> reinstating all the stuff on Bandcamp. am i did i forget anything <laughs> <laughs> This is so good. I'm going to do it all. Okay, good. It's good. <laughs> all right. It's, well, it's recorded now for everyone to hear. So, you know, no, no take backs. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, I think that um, we've had an amazing time with you tonight. And I don't want to keep you forever. I know it's a lot later where you're at than where we are. And, uh, you know, Saturday night get out on the town and all that so <laughs> we'll wrap it up <laughs> yeah, well I, I thank you guys so much for having me i've just really enjoyed it you've made me very comfortable i get i was kind of nervous sighted I, I, I saw that and you know i i hope that that's kind of what we go for we're trying not to be like hard journalism it's more just fun and Let's talking music and stuff so that's good it's good to hear it was good times thank you guys awesome well so before we go where can people find your music where would you like them to purchase stuff where can they stream all that kind of thing just so we can get some links going in the chat here oh um the new record is on is a uh is on Bandcamp only as far as the merchandise orders are concerned mm -hmm. of course you, you buy it there then you get you download the Bandcamp app and you get to listen there and um 
so that's where that one is. I believe everything else for the most part is on all streaming. Um, you know, if you write me and ask for a George book, I get my George books from uh, a guy named David Jack. He's he, uh, doing new, new translations of the original George, like kind of making some of the old Scots easier to read. Oh, that's cool. So I buy, I'll buy just a dozen books at a time if I can. Not really, <laughs> but half a dozen. But then I like matching up the books with people and, and sending them to people. So um, you might get something else, some, something random from my garage where I'm, where all my old merch lives. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's all out there. And also, yeah, anybody who wants a George book, write me. And speaking of merch, you also have a, a website, yes? Uh, is it just GileadTaylor.com? It's Gilead.com. Gilead.com, just Gilead.com. So. Um, yeah, I just actually put some stuff in the store yesterday because, you know, Printful does products like um, print on demand. Yeah. So, yeah, you're just going to get a good laugh when you go there. I, I saw that. I won't spoil it. People can go see it. But I saw a design on there that made me try. I was just showing it to Janelle right before we hopped on with you there. So. What did you think, though, Phil? What did you think? I, it's pretty awesome. It's, yeah. I mean, I immediately thought you, well, I don't want to spoil it. I'll let people see it. I'll not spoil it. Yeah. yeah. It's funny. Though. I'm it I, I didn't know, like, my, my husband and my daughter, one of my one of my kids was like, what? You know? And I was like, sorry. It's cool. You know, I'm very... going to say. Oh, and I don't mark up the stuff on Printful because I don't like dealing with money stuff. So you're getting the rock bottom prices right. on there. It did seem, so. yeah. Very reasonable. Definitely check that out. Gilead.com and look at the merch section there. That's some fun stuff in there. There's a Facebook page as well. Are you on any other socials you want people to follow you at? Twitter's Gilead Taylor, uh, and Instagram is just, is Gilead Taylor too. Okay, okay. Janelle's throwing all as many links as she can get into the chat there, so if you guys... Janelle, Janelle, thank you for everything there behind the scenes. Of course, of course. Thank you so much for coming and watching. We um, had fun. (laughs) (laughs) I did too. Excellent. Well, thank you again so much. And uh, we we're enjoying the new album. Please, everyone go pick one up. And uh, I can't wait to hear what's next. And I can't wait. I can't wait to get that cassette in my hand of uh, volume one. So Okay, I'm I'm, going to do that. All right. It's on. (laughs) It's great. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Gilia. And thank you, everyone who joined us live or is watching us later on YouTube. Um, we appreciate you guys hanging out and adding comments and questions. We will be back again uh, in a couple of weeks in May with another episode. And uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you again and good night, yeah. everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.